you know, God is dog backwards. It is. But um, I guess I just, when people say that word, I think they're trying to control the way I think by specific analogy to some superpower that none of us can, seem to have control over. Um, it's just too personified. It's like a name for a person. And I don't get it, you know. And I don't think they've really thought it through. But for me, the word that I use is a metaphysical. I do not understand the universe. And when it, it gets down to a cellular level, scientifically, I don't understand that either. That's not my realm of study. So there are miracles. I, I believe in happy accidents or miracles. And I think we do need to continue with super creative thinking skills in our public schools, allowing the children to make mistakes and not punish them for failures, but let them to continue. You gotta encourage them to keep trying and expand that knowledge and that mind. Maybe it's unexistent. Well, do we exist? I don't know. We're, we're, we're all not really real. I, I get that. We're atoms and molecules. And we're not solid beings. There's nothing that's solid. It's always ever-changing. And you cannot control metaphysics. It doesn't hurt to stay positive and put out good energy. I think that's good. But also except if somebody's not putting out good energy, something's wrong. So I do see a lot of changes coming. I look at buildings that are going to be taken down, roads that will be pulled up. We will have a hovercraft and it will be much more beautiful. We will develop a better energy source. We just have to keep trying, but we also have to give the children the ability and the tools that the ones that need it can progress into a genius, into finding these solutions. Like Einstein, they thought he was retarded. Hmm. <laughs>